Dwayne the Rock Johnson thinks he's all that because he wakes up every morning at 4 a.m. You Tell don't him. hear me bragging when I wake up 14 hours before him, bright and early at 2 p.m. every day. Hey, Fuck Johnson. Fuck Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Give me one. Yeah, bro, bro. Hold on. Let him stop training, mate. Hold on. Fucking muscle, mate. We're gonna fucking muscle, mate. Dwayne the Rock Johnson ain't got fucking shit on me. We love NYC. We love the fucking men. This is my boy Mikey. This is my boy Patrick. And we're fucking real. Welcome to fucking NYC, man. There's nothing in the world as beautiful as a Latina woman in heels. She's also the most likely to curb stomp, dude. <laughs> She's also the most likely to curb stomp your penis and shoot it in the head. What did the Stop Asian Hate professor say to the Black Lives Matter professor? Protesters. No, I can't say that. Why not? What she need to know about me? What she need? Did John go up? <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. I don't, I don't want to know it's what that probably means. probably racist. It's probably racist. Definitely. It's racist. It's not, it's just... I think the NBA G League should be called the NBA Gay League. That way I can play basketball with all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Dietitians in Nepal have managed to double the tiger population. One problem? The tigers are running out of dietitians. Not bad, not bad. According to a National Geographic article, oh my God, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> India's rivers are thick, the poison, thick. sewage, and trash. Personally, I prefer my rivers with a little bit of junk in the trunk. <laughs> it gives you something to hold on to when you're fucking the river. <laughs> I'm a big R. Kelly fan. His, no, fuck that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> he can piss on people. I'm not a big fucking R. Kelly fan. So. I'm a big R. Kelly fan. I like his music. <laughs> I like his music too. No, you don't. No, we don't. Thank you, ladies. What's up, man? Hey, don't you Oh, you, you go to Columbia? No, I don't. This is a brand name. You're a moron. <laughs> Good luck with your show. There's a new company that makes park benches out of recycled cigarette butts. City officials ask them to change the bench design so that the homeless won't want to sleep on them. So they're coming out with one that's made out of job applications. Wait, sir, what is this for? Uh, have you seen Game of Thrones? Yes. I don't watch TV. I know what it is, Bum. One needs to be broken before you can use it. A glow stick. But also, a woman. <laughs> Fuck Joe. you. Why did the sneakerhead cross the road? Just for the kicks. <laughs> I wrote a poem for you. Black cop and white cop. Black cop and white cop. Black cop and white cop. White cop and white cop. Black cop and black cop, black cop, Asian cop, black cop and white cop, black cop, a Asian cop too, black cop, Asian, black cop too, black cop, white cop. Black cop and Asian cop three, black cop and black cop for life. I'm sorry, did I say a poem? I meant the list of every movie ever made. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say poem? I meant a list of every movie ever made. That's a good one. <laughs> I didn't even make wow. you laugh. <laughs> I, I, that was, yeah. That was actually more realization. A washed, a wash pot never boils. Hold on! But neither does a wash pot.
pussy. <laughs> a wash pussy. <laughs> I'm writing a movie called Juice and Born. Juice and Born. It's about a Jewish guy in the 1940s Germany who suffers from total amnesia after being hit on the head. He tries to remember who he is while avoiding Nazi assassins in this goosebump giving thriller. Not a fan of Juice and Born, that's all right. I had a girlfriend who was bulimic. Bulimia is a serious eating disorder. And if you don't address it, it can lead to even bigger problems, like ants. <laughs> it says, what do anti-vaxxers and lesbians have in common? They don't like mandates. <laughs> <laughs> A meth head told me meth doesn't cause you to lose everything and go crazy. It helps you let go of unnecessary possessions on your path to enlightenment. I asked her, are teeth an unnecessary possession? She said, sucking dick is the meaning of life. <laughs> Listen, I love my fucking teeth. I love my teeth, and I love They're my nice dentistry, teeth. and I love my fucking orthodontist, so.